Welcome back to another episode of I Wonder. Today, I wonder what a first-year medical student looks like. This is Michael. He's a first-year medical student. How tall are you, Michael? I am six foot four. Michael is taller than the average medical student and taller than the average person in the room. I am. He is. The first question I have is why did you choose to go into medicine? In my opinion, medicine is the best thing to do with your life, and honestly, I can't imagine doing anything else. Uh, both my parents are physicians, so I had an early exposure with it, and it's something I liked at the start, and I've kept up with it, and I hope to keep up with it even more. And you're thinking about specializing in ophthalmology? Yes, I've been rotating with Dr. Lee the past three weeks, and it's been a great experience. Probably uh, one of the greatest uh, clinical experiences that I've had. It, there's a lot of great teaching, and not just ophthalmology, but also internal medicine, and all the other kinds of uh, specialties in medicine. Um, can you tell us a little bit about the college process and the application process, which is, I think, a big question a lot of our viewers have. So for the college application process and the medical school application process, there are certain boxes you have to check, like taking uh, intro bio, intro chemistry, intro to physics, uh, shadowing to get greater exposure to medicine, uh, doing some research if you want. But honestly, in my opinion, I think thinking outside of those boxes are the best thing to do. Uh, you really want to be able to show your passion. You don't want to just be someone who can cross out boxes or be told something to do. You should really uh, ex explore your options, find something you really enjoy, and I think showing that would be uh, a great benefit to you. Yeah, because of course there's this term burnout. Can you tell us a little bit about burnout? Burnout is something that affects a lot of people in medicine, unfortunately. Uh, burnout, and my definition is that when you get so tired from working so much that you can't even enjoy the small things in life, everything just feels like uh, kind of tired. In my opinion, the best way to remedy that is to do something that really detaches from work. Uh, when you get home, have some time to journal, uh, to food block even, uh, to work out, to play a sport you enjoy. Uh, I really like basketball and swimming, so just something to really disconnect from your work life. That's right, it's very important not to get totally obsessed with school. You have to I agree. still keep a person a person. Mm -hmm. Do you have any more general advice for our young viewers out there? For our young viewers, are, it is a long road, but it's a doable road. I think the best uh, thing to do is one thing you do right now will not determine your life. It is a consistent basis. It's the small things that you do every day that add up, that uh, accumulate to um, be great, basically. You just have to keep working. Mm -hmm. um, today is Michael's last day, so I'm sorry to see him go, but we'll continue to interview more medical students and leave a comment if you'd like to. Thank you. It's been a pleasure.